what's up? It's your girl Jameer of All Trades. And oh my goodness, we're back with another video. We're back with another video. It has officially been one full month since I started my, my weight, weight loss weight journey. Loss. Not one down. Go me. Go me. And as promised, I wanted to give you guys uh, updates and keep you on my journey with me because it's for motivation for myself as well as for you. I'm like, why not just keep y'all in the loop, honey? So today's video is gonna be a little bit about my weight loss journey thus far, but mainly it's gonna be an update on what's changed since I started. If you haven't already, check out my last video that I did in regards to my weight loss journey, which was actually my first video, oh. where I kind of talked about my past of losing weight and also what I plan on doing to lose this weight and then come back here because y'all gonna be lost if you didn't already know what my original plan was and how much it changed, right? Okay, first things first. What has changed since I started? This particular vlog is extremely special to me because, because, because this is day one of my fitness journey. It's currently, today is Tuesday, June. 20th I have on my cute fashion over set uh that I'll show you once I get inside I got my friend TK coming with me all right so now we're on the treadmill <laughs> um it's it's been a minute as TK said yes, it's been a minute. <laughs> so we are <laughs> getting in the swing of things here oh she jumping right into it I won't be doing that. <laughs> At the end of the day, I want to lose weight, but I'm still cute. I'm still fit, and I'm still falling. I, I'm telling y'all, but I'm telling myself. When I originally started, I was so anti. Let me just go ahead and say it. Like when I first when started, I, started, I was so, so anti-calorie anti counting. Calorie. Like I hear the girls talk about my fitness pal, and I was like, babe, I could never. Like who is who is trying? I've tried it so many freaking times and I, it just wasn't for me. I never stayed on it for more than maybe like two or three days because I, I just didn't see the point. But I'm here to announce that since then, I am officially been converted to a MyFitnessPal walk. Also, side note, because look, babe, this is doing what it's supposed to have done. If you want to see a tutorial of me doing it, let me know. But anyways, I started my fitness pal. Like I didn't start it right away. As you know, like originally I didn't talk about doing that, but maybe about probably about two weeks into my fitness journey when I actually have been going to the gym consistently and stuff. I'm like, let me just start. So going by what my nutritionist said, it's all about portions really and just making healthier choices. A rule of thumb for me that she told me is a fistful of carbs, which is about 15 grams of carbs. And that's all you need per meal. Should be eating every three hours. So with that being said, I only have leftovers. So this is gonna look really crazy. This second week, baby, is dragging me through the dirt. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that I went to work. And whenever I go to work, if you know, you know, it exhausts the out of me. Or just, you know, just like the fact that we're on this journey for real, for real this time. But whatever it is, I have not been wanting to do it. I've been not cheating on my diet because, like, I haven't been... Okay, I've been cheating, but I'm saying... <laughs> I've been cheap, but not like that. Like I've been eating salads. I've been uh, eating healthier. I ate fried foods for the first time in over a week last night. And the thing was I got a Caesar salad and then I got Buffalo wings too. But the plan was just to eat. I got a six count. I was like, I'm only going to eat three, eat three and then do the salad. It was a shrimp Caesar salad. Girl, the wings came out before the salad. <laughs> So here's what I've learned by doing like countless research is that a uh, calorie deficit is the way to get that flat stomach. Abs, Abs are, made are made in the, in the kitchen, kitchen, not, not in, the, in gym, the gym, sweetie. Like if you're working out and doing ab exercises you are working out your abs because everyone has abdominal muscles so you're working out that muscles those muscles there but if you have a whole gut under there and a whole layer of you know fat over it 
it's just gonna be getting stronger, but they not they gonna not see, see it under the fat. So we cannot escape, we cannot come out. Mama, 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 we're chopping at this bumbo. So you can work out and do ab exercises, but if you want your abs to show and you want them to be popping, babe, you have to actually like eat better. <laughs> like literally, it's about what you eat. And more importantly, it's about having a consistent <laughs> calorie, calorie deficit, deficit, which means you are putting in less than you are. Wait, crap. You are. Mm. So nutrition is really, really important, which I feel like we already knew that, but I was like, let me just give my all with this calorie deficit thing. Let me try. I've been officially on uh, the my fitness pal for about two weeks now and I've been doing really, really good and honestly being more mindful of my calories. Like, I don't know, like I feel better. I just, I like it so far, y'all. So I'm still doing the healthy things. Like I have fried foods every now and then. But for the most part, I'm still doing like baked grill, a lot of salads, a lot of the things that I said that I was doing uh, in that last video in regards to my weight loss journey, I'm still doing. I don't know, like I'm losing weight. Oh, by the way, we started off at 239 and right now I'm sitting pretty at a 233, honey. And I know most of that is water weight, but if I keep doing what I'm doing, it's gonna be that kind of off and off. The biggest thing that I've noticed is like, I get a lot, I get worried a lot because I feel like it's almost too easy. It makes me suspicious. Cause it ain't supposed to be that easy, is it? Like, I really just gotta stay under my calorie limit. And then that's it. Girl, what? I be getting creative, baby. We, look, I love a good pasta, but I know like it's a lot of carbs, it's a lot of calories, da, da, da. I done did fettuccine. I'm not fettuccine, girl. See, I'm saying what I really want. I done did zucchini noodles, uh, ca rice cauliflower. Like, I am finding ways to get a bang for my buck in, in regards to my calories. But all I gotta do is stay under my limit and, and, I'm, and I'm pushing P. I, I'm in the clear is really that easy. It's it's almost so easy that I've tricked myself to the point where it may be hard. But it's definitely easier than a lot of the other things that I've done because it's like I feel like when you try to do things to get the weight off faster, it makes it harder because you gotta cut out this, 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 and then as soon as you cut it out, you lose the weight, but then one day you really want what you've been cutting out really really bad like them hot wings girl i'm just like i really want hot wings so freaking bad i really wanted hot wings and so like for example he got zoe's kitchen and i i didn't get any because i eat zoe's kitchen when i'm on a diet but it's like i've been eating healthy for like i've been eating healthy majority of the time and you eat them and then it's a slippery slope, babe. It, we talked about them slippery slopes, girl. We talked about them. It's actually way easier once you get the hang of it. Working out, like I've been working out almost every day. I would say at least five days a week because there are days where I don't feel like going. But I'm in this weird space in my weight loss journey where I'm still figuring it out. And it's like you get so many different opinions or ideas of what you should do. And even with yourself, what you seeing other people and what they did, you kind of are overwhelmed at times because you're like, okay, this works and this works and this works. So I want to try this, I want to try this. So right now, like I know I'm sticking with the calorie deficit thing and just making healthier choices. 80% of, of the time, that's working fine. But with the like actual exercising part, I'm still figuring out what works for me. You want a hot body? You want a Maserati? You want a Bugatti? You better work, bitch. You want to get a fancy? You want to live dancy? I hope y'all counted. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Great job. We did it. I'm going to see you tomorrow. 
I know one thing I have taken a liking to lifting and wanting like an interest I should say because I haven't really did it yet but I really want to get into lifting so I've been like kind of going to the gym and I've been doing my cardio and sometimes I do 30 minutes on the highest incline sometimes I do 20 minutes on the highest incline sometimes I don't do the treadmill at all for cardio sometimes I'm doing hit I just I don't know like I'm trying out all these different things I'm doing the tight tummy flat belly what is it girl I'll never get this right grow with Joe's flat tummy <laughs> Girl, I'm, we do this every time. Okay, the point is I'm doing that. And so usually I'll do that and I'll burn almost 300 calories, not quite. And then I'll go on the treadmill after as a, 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 a wind down. Hmm, that made me think of wine, not a wind down, but a, a cool down, if you will. Yeah, sometimes I'll push it to 30 on that highest incline, 30 minutes that is. Or sometimes I'll just say 15 because I'll be trying to get out of gym. That's the other thing. Like I'm trying to figure out what I can fit in in an hour. Before I was kind of taking my time with it, trying all these things out and I'll easily spend two hours in the gym. Now I'm like, what can I fit in in an hour? So bro with Joe's thing usually takes in between 27 minutes and 37 minutes sometimes 40 if i only do a 25 minute one then i'll do 30 on the treadmill if i do like a 40 minute babe you're getting a good 15 on the treadmill out of me baby because to i think in my mind like this is just a forecast let's let's talk about it. this this segment is called Our predictions for the future i would say that moving forward i'm going to start like a workout class like do something like a pure bar situation or a i don't know like orange theory class like some kind of fitness boot camp situation doing some hit stuff and then i will go to the gym to lift on my own time because they say to build muscle and i don't know how true this is i got a fact check but they say if you want to build muscle other than you know taking in a lot of protein to feed them you should be working those muscles out twice a week so i'm thinking maybe i'll just like find a workout class that's like an hour and then twice a week i'll just go to the gym just to straight up like lift but once again that's a prediction like i'm still figuring it out so we'll see other than that like this journey so far like i said i'm only one month down it's been very very enjoyable like i have not seen major results yes i have lost six pounds but it's like i haven't seen it yet but that's okay i think i'm like falling in love with the journey like i'm learning myself i'm just like so excited for like six months down the line even three months down the line i just hope that i can keep going with this or i will keep going and i hope I, this is something i can sustain like i can do this so i'm excited to see what's coming next i just wanted to give you guys an update and also just like a recap so i can get all these videos on my phone girl like this taking up space of me going to the gym every dog all day almost <laughs> thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more weekly weigh-ins i got a lot of those coming up um, i'm kind of a few weeks behind like i've been recording them but in terms of spinning it out like obviously it's a lot still going on in one week honey so i'm a little behind on that but i will be letting you know uh how the journey goes and how the journey flows and how the journey was okay make sure if you want to be on this journey with me you like comment and subscribe 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 is the important thing make sure you subscribe i'm tired of asking people to do all these things just get here first just be in attendance and then we can work with you then you can like and comment and do what you do but make sure you're here girl be in attendance okay see y'all later and i'll see y'all for my next try on haul girl let's let's look at the body real quick body update She still, she still got some, some stuff going on. She still got, you know, some, some stuff, but hey, we're, we getting right. We getting right, we getting tight.